Collins after the 1-1 uh, draw against Whitehawk. Uh, Mickey, that's a very good result. Yeah, good result. Um, and I think performance. I think this time of the season, you, yeah, you want to get results. But I think, you know what, this time of the year, you, you look at performances. And I thought second half, we were exceptional. And um, great credit to our guys. Showed, showed good character and a um, lot of desire. And um, I thought we put them to the sword a little bit second half. They did it to us first half. And um, yeah, good game. Really good game of football. Bit of a signal to concede as late as you did in the first half, but you took it to them uh, second half. Uh, changed things around at half time? Did it change your team talk at all? Uh, not really, because I'd have made the same, you know, it was it was exactly what was going on was the problem. Um, so they wouldn't have changed it. It's just the fact you're one nil down. Actually, sometimes it helps because you're you're a deficit. When you're nil nil, are you going to be brave enough because you don't want to concede? When well, you've conceded, you need to get back in the game. So it makes you a bit braver. So you've got to try. So what we tried to implement, they had to do it, and they did. And it, that, you know what, second half, I thought from the first two minutes, we showed our intent, and we went out there and played a different way. And it worked. And um, all of a sudden, we freed up full backs, and, and then the midfielders were winning second ball. Forwards were getting more, more ball in the end of the final third, whereas in the first half, they were doing more defensive duties because we weren't brave enough to unleash them. And then, mm. you know what, fair play to them. You know, you question sometimes you go with your tactics, and do you get it right and wrong? And, and they listened and they went out and delivered it and um, credit to them. And the story of the first half, you had your chances, but uh, a bit of quality um, undid you at, uh, late on in that first yeah, half. Yeah, disappointed with it because it's a foul in the build-up and it's a blatant foul and he's not give it and then he's played on and they've gone and scored from it, which, you know what, but it's how you react to that. You know, you can miss chances and you can huff and puff like we did and we never really caused their goalkeeper too many problems first half. A couple of shots, but nothing major. And then it's up to you, do you then roll your sleeves up and go and have a go? And sometimes that's all it takes at this level. And instead of some of them playing at fives and sixes, they've upped it to sevens and eights. And then you've got quality like Calder Silva's managing to get on the ball, and Fraser Walker's pushing forward. And then our midfield three look like they're playing forwards rather than just sitting in there defending. And um, I think that's where we got it right. And um, it proved it because we got back in the game. And um, yeah, maybe could have gone and got three points. And the seven and the eleven, you know, were quality in that first half, weren't they? They, they tested oh, you to the full. Players. Yeah, they're good players. You know, that that's the level, that's the difference. You know what? And that's that's you know, certain clubs have that power to be able to attract that type of player and do it. We we're not in that level. We can't do that. Maybe one day we will. But it shows you what they can do. But I thought they were very quiet second half. But in the second half, you, know, you brought Terrell Richardson Brown on, and he got on the end of uh, a very good cross by Carlos Silva. A word about Carlos Silva. He's not a left back, but he did marvellously well for you tonight. Is, do you know what? Sometimes you ask people to do jobs for you and we were mindful of Harry being young and not trying to expose him to some of that quality and I think we made the right decision. And um, Carl's quality, but Carl's one of them players that knows he can affect a game. And when you played in the Premier League, you know, you look at their number eight today, he's the youngest player to ever play for Everton first team. Ever. Before Rooney. That's the quality you're up against. What a player. And you look at that and then the second half you match them, that's where you look at you. That's what I just said to them in there, you boys that most of you only played step four. If you're playing against some quality tonight, and you've done well, and that's that you've got to be a credit to. Didn't see much of Terrell Richardson Brown pre season, but uh, you know what you've bought, you know the player that uh, you've uh, managed to secure the sign signing of. Pre season is difficult because people have holidays booked and they respect that and they go away, and we have to match around it. And then he had some bad news on Friday, so he couldn't be available for Saturday, so we lost him. Um, but he's effective, he's, we didn't sign him for a you know. He's a very, very good player, but he knows he's got to knuckle down and get in the side and, and then have an impact. And um, that's what you want because you want the other forwards to then go, oh, he's chasing me, I've got to make this happen. And um, yeah, I mean, they're a good bunch of lads in there. You know, I've gone in there, they trust what we're doing, they're honest, and they've gone out there and put a proper shift in for this football club. And um, you've got to be proud of that. Might have snatched it at the end, Frankie had a chance that uh, could have gone. Yeah, he could have done. Lou had one as well, went round the back post, which mm. I called, and he mm. head butted the post rather than the ball, which is. You know, that's, that happens, that's football. But he's finding his way, which is good. Um, positives all round, you know, there's not I've come away with any negatives. The only thing I'd be negative about was the fact that we actually let them dictate the play in the first half rather than be braver. And um, they'll learn, they'll learn, and they'll, you know, they won't show people that much respect. And I think that's what we did. Four points out of six, you uh, you can't complain too much about that. I'd have took that Saturday at um, 1.30, 2.30 or whatever, and Friday night when I, you know, had a few letdowns, I'd take that. And that's management, and you deal with that as you are. But we built a big squad this year to cover it, and so far it's got us off on the right track. And then you're only as good as your last game, and hopefully the boys will take that into Saturday, realise what they can do, and then the first half at Burgess Hill, we might come out of blocks and have a proper go. What were your thoughts, just briefly, about Three Bridges on Saturday as a performance and as a result? Um, I don't know how they got on tonight. I know they was playing one of my pals tonight, BCB, so I don't know what result they had, but I actually thought we should have won by more. I actually look back at the, the you know, whole game, I've watched it twice now. And we had chances at certain times that we should have sorted. 
and we didn't. Yeah. And if we'd have took them chances early, they would have had to come out and on their tight pitch, it causes them major problems. And we didn't, we left them in the game for a long period. Yeah. And they had their spell for the last 10 minutes and had a go at us. But um, I thought we were solid, I thought it was good. I thought, I thought Steve got it right, I thought it was a mature performance. Yeah. We went away from home and um, got a 1-0 win and kept a clean sheet. Yeah, was, that's a good way, good way of describing it, really. And the FA Cup on Saturday, Burgess Hill, what are your thoughts on that one? Tough, money at stake, got to go there and... This, I'm, all I'm interested in is performances at the moment. Can we put in a performance? If we can go and perform like we did second half for 90 minutes, I'm sure we'll win more games than we'll lose, and that's the most important thing. As you said, you've got players missing. Um, the one player we haven't spoken about in pre-season is Xavier Vidal. Is he still your player? Javs, yeah, but he's, he's had a bit of a setback on his knee, and that's long term, so we've not put any pressure on him, and he's not been round us, and he's away doing his own thing, but that was a horrendous injury. Mm. Um, and you know what, I'm not going to call it, but he, you're lucky to come back from one of them. That's a big one, I could tell, like, tendon um, going like that. And um, yeah, but you know, he's still with us, he's still on our group, and we still chat, but at the end of the day, we're just waiting to see how he goes. Well done, Mickey. Thanks for your time. Cheers, Andrew. Thank you.